Hello, and welcome to Cigars 101 with Best Cigar Prices. My name is Dane, and today we're going to be discussing an area of cigars that can be a little bit confusing for newer cigar smokers, and that's the Vitola. Now, what the Vitola refers to is the size and shapes of the cigars. First thing we're going to discuss is the size or the dimensions of the cigars. When you're looking up cigars online or wherever you may research them in the cigar shop, you're going to see a lot of numbers listed. Uh, it's generally a small number, ranging anywhere from 2 up until sometimes a 10, and then it's going to be followed by a larger number which goes anywhere from the 20s up into the 70s. The first number, the, sh the smaller number, refers to the length of the cigar in inches. So if it's a 4x50, it's a 4-inch cigar. If it's a 6x54, it's a 6-inch cigar. The second number refers to the diameter of the cigar, and that's based on 60 fourths of an inch. Now, there's a huge variation, like I said, anywhere from the 20s into the 70s you're going to see, but the most common ones lie within the 40s and 50s up to about 60. And what I'm going to do is just give you a little bit of a reference that you can think back on as we discuss in the video and give yourself a point of reference. So, for example, if you see a cigar with a ring gauge of 46, that's about the same size around as a dime. One with a ring gauge of a 50 is about the same size around as a penny, a 55 is a nickel, and a 64 is the size of a quarter. So that gives you a basic groundwork that you can, you can base your decisions off of when looking into dimensions of a cigar. The next thing we're going to discuss are the shapes of cigars. And cigars are basically broken down into two different shapes. Figurados and Parejos. Parejos being the more popular, and a Parejo refers to what we think of as the standard shaped cigar. A straight shaft, an open foot, and a normal looking cap. So when you think of or you picture a normal cigar, you're usually thinking of a Parejo. Now Figurado refers to any variation thereof, anything that is not a normal shaped cigar. What I want to do now is discuss the most popular Parejo sizes, the ones that most companies are going to offer. And it's important to realize before I do that, that some of these names that you're going to be hearing, Robusto, Corona, things like that, <clears throat> have a standard size, but there is a little bit of variation depending on the manufacturer. Uh, for example, the first and most popular cigar size in America is the Robusto. That's a 5x50 generally. Now you will see some that are five and a half by 50, some that are four and three quarters by 52. There is a little bit of give and take and that goes across the board with all the different sizes of cigars. But the Robusto, as I mentioned, is the most popular cigar size in America. It's a five by 50 and it's a great starting off point for beginning smokers to get a good sense of what cigars they might enjoy. Another popular size is the Toro. That's a 6x50. It's an inch longer than your usual Robusto, and it's another fairly popular size. It does give you that extra inch of cigar, so that gives you a little bit more time to smoke. So if you're looking for a cigar that's going to take you maybe an hour or so to sit down and really enjoy, a Toro is a great starting off point. Another common size is the Churchill, which is of course named after Winston Churchill, who popularized them. He was always seen with this size cigar, and that's generally around a 7x48 or a 7x50. Almost every cigar company is going to make a Robusto, a Toro, and a Churchill. There are some other variations. The Corona, that's the most common sized cigar, although not the most popular. It's usually around a 55 by 42 so it's a little skinnier than the other cigars that I've mentioned so far and falls within that same length of five to six inches. Another cigar, which is actually uh, Best Cigar Prices exclusive, is the Ribolo. That's a four and a half by 60, so it's a shorter, fatter cigar. It's gonna give you a lot of flavor, and again, this is only available through Best Cigar Prices, so if you find yourself liking cigars that have a wider ring gauge, but maybe aren't as long as a Churchill or a Toro, then the Ribolo is definitely one that you wanna check out. So now that we've covered most of the popular sizes in the Parejo cigars, we're going to move on to the Figurado. As I mentioned earlier, a Figurado is anything that's not the typical shaped cigar. The most popular Figurado shape is the Torpedo. It's got the straight shaft and the open foot like a Parejo, however you'll notice that the tip that you smoke out of is tapered to a point, uh, which helps concentrate the flavor, things like that. There are a lot of different novelty uh, Figurados that we'll discuss in a later video, 
But some of the most common figurados are the Torpedo, the Bellicoso, and the Perfecto, which again has the straight shaft, but it's tapered on the end that you light and also slightly tapered on the end that you smoke from. So that's a basic 101 on the shapes and sizes of different cigars. I encourage you, go out, try all the different sizes, find what works best for you. And in the meantime, enjoy the exploration, enjoy your smokes, and have a good day.